So the problem with gravel riding in the UK is you don't even know if it's gravel and you might end up coming across roadways like this or you're coming somewhere where you're not allowed. So today I'm going to try and plot a route around Somerset on gravel. I failed at the first <laughs> hurdle. <laughs> but hopefully it gets better. I've got a ton of gravel in my shoes. So hello, welcome back to another video. I am out doing about 100k, hopefully on gravel, picking up some tiles today, straight from my own door onto the Somerset Moors. We're going around the Langport area to hopefully tick off a few and coming back by the Bridgewater uh, Taunton Canal footpath, bike path, whatever you want to call it. Um, so we'll see how much gravel I can actually find. I've tried my best to actually find some gravel, but I don't think it will work based on the very first path we found is <laughs> flooded and although it looks nice and sunny and very warm today because I'm in my summer kit it's not actually that warm it's about 13 degrees I am a little bit cold but it's my own fault because I didn't do my own washing very slow about trying to negotiate that without falling in wish me luck <laughs> uh, still not gravel I'm not even 10k in yet and I question my sanity. What the hell am I doing? Um, <laughs> well, going back's not much fun either. That's a lot of water. On the plus side, got a big smile on my face and I'm having a lot of fun. <laughs> Walton Moor Bride away. Yeah, avoid it. <laughs> Unless you want to have a really big laugh. <laughs> I'm go that way or that way. That way looks better. So I'm going that way. <laughs> I've got some high hopes for this stretch and so far it's not letting me down so that's some prone gravel and uh, we've got a nice little river and there is something in the riverbank rustling around there so I'm not going to stay too long just in case it's dangerous <laughs> there's something in there somewhere anyway look at this now that is better whispers in the morning whispers wakes me up So you just can't tell. It's a nice looking track there and I can't use it. But there is one the other way, so I'm hoping we can still get this tile. Damn. Oh, it's not going very well now. That's both ways blocked. But I know there's a commute highlight just here. Ah, this bit isn't as nice. Why can't I go on the gravel? Please, Mr. Farmer. Tell me. So this commute highlight said double track lead to gravel. Um, can't find any gravel. I don't know if you class that as double track or field. <laughs> There's definitely more grass than there is track. Tell me, babe, what are we gonna do? You got me in the uh, that could be a problem. Is there any way to squeeze a bike through?
yeah, this isn't going well. I'm now in a field and I think the bridge to get over the river is closed. It says it's dangerous. We'll have a look though. Well, there's no handrail. It doesn't look like it's too bad. But it isn't very wide. All right, so I found another way around. I'm hoping this goes somewhere. <laughs> I was going to be stuck in the middle of nowhere. Oh, that's a bonus. I found some more track. And it's better than the track I was on. You will take over my mind Cos I've been lost But I'm giving you all of my time Isn't that good enough? Changing my patterns a lot Yeah, I never thought I'd be sitting here What's the irony being? been all over that rough stuff and all those off-road bits and I've got a puncture on the road <laughs> look what has just got in my tyre luckily though this time I had an inner tube and the correct inner tube <laughs> all fit Oh, this one just got very interesting. <laughs> oh. but I'm still here. Oh, I'm guessing it's not that way. <laughs> I don't even know if I'm supposed to be here. I don't even know if it's a bridle way, a footpath or what, but it was a track that turned into that. <laughs> but I think we got some proper gravel soon again. Right, so refreshment's done. 60k to go. We're on to the next sector. This one looks a beaut. I've been wanting to do this one for a long time. Oh, this is amazing. It just goes on for miles, miles and miles and miles. I've been on it for about 10 minutes already. It's just awesome, flying along. Just in the middle of nowhere, to my own thoughts, which are basically trying not to fall off. <laughs> and look at these views when there's no potholes. <laughs> amazing. Not so amazing. <laughs> Oh, I don't know how deep that is, but I think I'm gonna have to go through. Ta-da! <laughs> and I did it without wet feet. Oh yeah, that was fun. <laughs> so you're just gonna go straight through the middle of it. Fair play. <laughs> yeah, I went round that one, that was too deep. <laughs> he just played straight through the middle. Incredibly, it keeps going. So I'm going that way. That's probably my favourite part of the ride so far. That was just immense fun. Last week I rode 200 kilometres in an Audax on this bike. And now I'm riding a gravel ride on it. Just amazing. <laughs> A 
that's a win that's another great gravel path i have no idea what it's called but it's near Montsell lock which is where i'm heading now to get on the canal back to bridgewater <laughs> this is what a ride started off bad getting better Oh, I'm currently asking myself, why haven't I done this before? What a bike path this is. Bridgewater to Taunton Canal. Yes, please. Although all this bumpy gravel doesn't do good for your backside. And yes, your anus gets sore. Kind of damned if you do or damned if you don't when you get this far in. You might as well go all the way. Just hope it gets better. Riding 100k on gravel is not quite the same as riding 100k on the road. That was hard. <laughs> but my problem with riding gravel is uh, I don't know how many of those roads I should have been on today. And uh, I don't know how many <laughs> I should have been on. Because <laughs> some of them weren't proper tracks. But most of that route, in fact all of that route, was put together with commute and highlights on commute where people have said there's gravel. Um, so well done for some of you, because some of it was definitely worth it. Some of it uh, shouldn't even have been on there. But there we go. <laughs> I'm going to leave it to the experts. Uh, Glorious Gravel are definitely the experts, so I will be with them for the Glorious Gravel Wessex. They definitely find proper, decent gravel, prime gravel, and uh, amazing routes. So I'm looking forward to taking that on. I'm in Cornwall next week, so hopefully there will be a couple of videos in Cornwall. Some of the official climbs. Uh, the camel trail so i'm looking forward to a nice break but state of my bike 
<laughs> that is definitely graveled up dusty today. The smile is there. Absolutely love riding gravel. Just being off the road and adventure. <laughs> some of it's a challenge. Some of it you get yourself into such a pickle and have a laugh. Um, so you definitely got to try it. So let me know in the comments below, how do you find your gravel routes? Are they routes you know? Uh, do you go with other people? Do you rely on the experts? Um, but yeah, it's not quite straightforward as riding on the road, even though I get that wrong sometimes. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and we will see you very, very soon. Hopefully in Cornwall.